Hi everyone, my name is Damien from Slinky Given Games and I'm here to teach you how to play Herding Cats with Goblins. This is a pocket sized arena game where players are goblins who are trying to catch as many cats as possible. As you can see here, we've got a deck of cards and some shards. The shards will uh, have all the different goblin characters that you can be, as well as uh, having the different cats. You also have albedillos. Now these are the crazy little wild cards that are inside of the game and can make catching cats a little more stressful. The first thing you'll need to do is grab all of the cards. This includes both the action cards and the goblin cards and shuffle them together. We're then going to place them out into a 4x4 grid. Now this is actually determining the size of the arena, so what you'll need to do is find a couple of coins or maybe a salt or pepper shaker, a glass, anything like that to mark out the corners of the board. In the bottom right hand corner of the cards is a symbol that matches with the shards that we were looking at earlier. What you'll need to do is replace each of the cards with a matching symbol. Some of the cards have a none space instead, which means that they aren't replaced with anything. Each shard has a prone and a not prone side. Make sure that when placing these shards on the table, they're all placed non prone side up. You'll now want to separate the goblin cards from the rest of the deck. Starting with the smallest and most annoying player, then continuing anti-clockwise, players will select a goblin to represent them in the game. Each goblin has a special ability which makes their gameplay unique. Once all players have selected a goblin card, the rest of the goblin cards are set aside and their shards are removed. Shuffle the deck and then deal each player three cards. The rest of the cards are placed to the side to form a deck. Anytime the deck does run out, just shuffle the discarded cards and form a new deck. The player who picked their goblin last becomes the first player and play will continue clockwise until the game ends. This will generally be when someone has collected four points worth of cats or someone has three cards tucked under their goblin card. During your turn you will have three phases, the get ready phase, the herding phase and the critter phase. During the get ready phase you can discard any number of cards from your hand and then draw cards until you have exactly three. During the herding phase you play a card from your hand and make either a short move or a long move. After making the move, complete the action listed underneath. In herding cats with goblins, any card can be used as a measuring device to move a shard. To make a short move, place the short end of the card next to the shard and then move it to the other side of the card. To make a long move, do the same thing, although use the long edge of the card. At any point during your turn, you can also discard a card to flip your shard from prone to not prone. Once per turn, you may also discard a card to pick up a cat you are touching or moved over during your move. Take the cat out of the arena and put it on your goblin card. If picking up a cat would bring a goblin to four or more points worth of cats, instead of discarding the card they use to pick up the cat, it is instead placed underneath their goblin card. If a goblin has three cards tucked underneath their character card, they immediately win the game. Due to the questionable sportsmanship of goblins, it is highly likely that throughout a game, one goblin will beat up on another to make them try and drop their cats. This is done through the bash action. If a bash is ever made against a goblin, the player who is being bashed picks up any cat tokens that they have on their card, shakes them, and then drops them onto the table. Any cats that land face side up are placed back on the goblin card, while any that land prone are then placed back in the arena a short move away from the goblin who dropped them. If when you are bashed you do not drop any cats, which is always the case if you had no cats to begin with, then your goblin is immediately flipped prone. If you are already prone when you are bashed, you automatically drop all of your cats. If you are bashed while you are prone and have no cats, then the person who bashed you can short move your goblin character in any direction they choose. During the critter chaos phase, you may short move any two different critters. Critters are cats and albedillos. Instead of moving, a prone critter may be flipped from prone to not prone. Albedillos that move over goblins or cats will bash anything that they touch. This includes when they are moved during the herding phase. If at the start of their turn a player has four or more points worth of cats, they immediately win the game. 
Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this gives you a bit of an idea on how to play herding cats with goblins and I'll see you in some future videos.